I take it you will help us. Wonderful! I knew you wouldn't let us down. But come, I would introduce you to your friends in the Order. Tell me, does the name Charlianne ring any bells? It used to be one of Eorzea's six city-states, and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. The Charlians were the keepers of wisdom both old and new. Their mastery over magic and ether was unsurpassed, and even the Garlians knew to fear them. Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. These noble men and women were called the Archons. Those same brave souls stand before you now. The masked woman is Ida, and beside her is Popolimo. The two are charged with surveying the Twelve's Wood. Hello there! Welcome! <gasps> okay, my turn to introduce someone. That there is Thancred. He is our man here in Ulda, Jewel of the Desert. Welcome to the team. I never doubted that you'd come. If I may, the lovely maiden beside me is named Yastola. Limsa Lominsa has the pleasure of being under her care. Greetings. Last but not least is Uriange, who presides over all affairs within these halls. Pray seek him out whenever you have questions. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. The words of a dear friend. I am glad of our meeting. At the Battle of Cartano, our leader was taken from us. But we did not stray from our purpose. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent, and together established the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Along with the Archons, those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. Oh, I should also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. She ensures that everything runs smoothly. Pleased to make your acquaintance! In time, I hope you will come to think of us as family. But, without further ado, I would assign you your first task. Uriange, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have received a request for aid from the Immortal Flames. Thancred, would you do the honors? It would be my pleasure. Some days ago, a crystal caravan registered to Amagina and Sons' mineral concern was waylaid and divested of its cargo. But there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shantytown outside the city. At a glance, one would assume the involvement of bandits, kidnappers, and coincidence. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, and the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. However, this time we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. Aye. The evidence left behind implicates the Amolja, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. If we then consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. That you may better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. You have my thanks. If there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. Ever at your service, fair lady.